Welcome back to the Western Wilds on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 35 with me, Mr. Sealy P. One last try. <laughs> well, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who messaged, everyone who commented. Uh, huge shout out to Hydra, who was Johnny on the spot with commenting. Um, I tried the Cobra and I tried the Komatsu. And I assumed, you know what they say, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Well, mainly me, to be fair. Um, I just assumed, well, if those two won't work then why would this one loads of people message say there's uh, the, the some modded ones by hr forced and for bow um but a few people including hydra said um try the rot now that should work on the large chunky trees so let's give it a go <laughs> if this works now i'm going to be gutted i didn't think to try this one i mean it was that kind of nope same cut all this time. Drop that down. Just a little bit. All this time. I've been doing it by hand. Mind you, I didn't own one of these, to be fair. Controls are back to front on this one. And up and down the wrong way around. I'm sure that's my mind's going. Hang on a minute, it's not working the same way as everyone did. Did do do's. Oh, how much easier is that? We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. I might use that a little bit since I've got it lease lease for an hour. Lights off. Happy days. <laughs> That is only least I haven't bought it. I'll still be using that one. Um, I think what I'll do is probably sell a couple of loads of methane and we'll buy one, I think is what we'll do. I could, like I said, this modded ones I could get. So we upgraded from, well, we upgraded from just using a chainsaw um, to the smaller one that was 120 odd grand. And we moved up to that one, which was 180 grand. And that works brilliantly. Don't get me wrong. That's the Komatsu Valmet one, isn't it, that we got? But for the larger trees, if I can do all of them, uh, yeah, the Valmet 911.4, and that for 180 grand is fantastic. And depending on what map you're on, if you haven't got any of those massive trees, you're absolutely fine. Or if you don't touch the massive trees. You know. I'm looking forward to when the um, Platinum Edition comes out and we've got the old spray markers, because what you can do is then go around and you can mark the, the large boys. Um, and then you can come out with one of those and just literally go around and go bomb, 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 do all the ones you need to, rather than searching through to find them. I suppose you have to do that first to mark them. But anyway, regardless, I have got work to do. My seed that I was preparing on the last episode, I put all of the uh, barley through. Was it 47,000 litres? And all of the oats I got off that field. And we've done all right. And we're up to... Oh, we had 82,000 litres in there. We got over 200,000 litres of seed off of those... Amazing. Off of those amounts. So I'm going to seed the field that's just south of the two cow pens. The other field, the one that had the oats in it, I'm not seeding. Because I might... I'm trying to think. might require some landscaping, but I don't know how it will work. I was going to try and landscape a, a road, like a ramp, up to that, that plateau... I can, I can, I've said, mentioned it a few times about putting the, the house up there. I don't know if that'll work, but putting a, a, a sort of ramp up, landscape a ramp, obviously get wheel loaders and gear out, you know, 
we'll get local contractors out. Um, and then cut some trees down up there and then put our new home up there, potentially. Um, I've also got... I'm going to do some more open-air gardens. With the changes in the open-air gardens, or the additions, should I say, to the open-air gardens, I did test it or try it out when I did the mod review, but I want to have a go with the new distribution system. I don't know. It's going to be kind of a test as well, really. I don't know what the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Range. What the range is on the distribution system that comes with that now. So what I'm going to do over there, when I said I was going to change it from tater vine to root vine, I'm going to put in a load more open gardens. Possibly another... 10? Why haven't put another 20 in? That's nuts. And over here, at the main farm, I'm going to put another 2 in. Because it's only dawned on me, I assumed that when I switched all those over from potatoes and sunflower... No, potato... Potatoes all over there. Sunflower... Um, it's still being done there. I put lettuce and tomatoes on. I didn't do any strawberries. So I'm assuming in my head, oh yeah, I've got, I've got all, everything running from there. Um, my strawberries will be sent over to the bakery and nothing went, was sent over. Well, that's weird. Why have I not got no strawberries? I didn't put any strawberries on. So I'm going to take another two in over there. Another reason why having all that seed now is going to really help because I'm going to need it for the greenhouses. Uh, I'll get the big tanker. We'll fill that with water and we'll, we'll fill up the distribution system and then I'll get a load of manure for my manure production. I might need to put a little bit more straw in there, actually. If I borrow 100,000 litres from one of my stores of um, grass, not grass, straw, um, I can produce some more manure. Plus the cows are producing it as well, which is fantastic. Um, as far as how much straw I got off of those fields, they are prepped. I fertilised, mulched, cultivated... Fertilised again, so they're good to go. We run 200, was it 250,000, 260,000 litres of straw we had in, in that silo over there? I think we're over 600,000 now, so we did all right with straw. Did pretty well, so I think I'm going to take 100,000 litres out of the other silo, one just over there somewhere, the Hessian. Put that through the manure system. And that way I can put manure into the new distributor. Just, yeah, just going to give it a go. Another thing I'm going to do, I was said about putting some more olive trees in. I'm going to put some more olive trees in as well. I think I'll do that now while we're here. I'm going to probably put another two in, I think. Just here. Can I get another one in there? Yeah, I might do. The outhouse is still chugging away. I filled that up ages ago, didn't I? We've got 3,843 litres of manure and 3,873 litres of slurry. It's a very slow producing system there, but it... it does work to a degree so if we go into build mode and we go to what do i want productions and orchards no orchards is it greenhouses there we go olive tree oh, what's it overlapping with okay we'll put it there I don't know if that's the right. I've done every single time. Done every single time. People must get really frustrated with me. You'd think by now I would have remembered to do that. Ah, glad I did. There we go. So I put one there. One there. Cool. We'll get the products into those as well. And then open air gardens. Let's go. If I've got enough room to put two more in here, I might have, and I'll set these to strawberry. So I've got lettuce going in that row. I've got um, tomatoes in that row. Those two are doing sunflower. So these two I will set to strawberries. Now I was thinking about whether I want to put a distribution... Uh, let's go over the road a little bit. Shall I put one there? There yeah, we'll go behind with that one. Might lose that bush though. Cool. I don't think I've ever used... I said that before when I put all those ones in. I've never used so many greenhouses. Well, I know they're open gardens. So we'll get everything into these. What were these requiring? It was just water, wasn't it? That's all it needed, just water on these. Oh, no, no, no. We can go with olive seed and manure. 
Mm, okay. I'm going to use up a lot of my seed, aren't I? But then moving forward, the production on them is going to be absolutely fantastic. So it kind of it swings and roundabouts, really. Uh, let's grab this and get some seeding done first. Let's start with the class. Haven't used it for a little while, so let's get it going. Now, I've found with all the other greenhouses, open gardens, and I keep saying greenhouses, it's just a false habit, the open gardens, that um, it's not getting through the seed and, and fertiliser and stuff particularly quickly. Uh, I've been going for ages and ages and I haven't had to top them up at all. So rather than filling them up with 10,000 litres in each, um, I think I'm only going to put maybe three or four, possibly five max, so I'm not using all my seed up as well. How much seed have we got in that? Nothing. That's weird, because I didn't use that till it was empty. So how is that now empty? Where is the seed gone that was in there? That's slightly worrying. I'm going to stick with sorghum. So I say that filled there, I'm going to put sorghum in. That filled there, I'm, I'm not yet. I'm going to work out what I'm going to do. Because there was a fairly low spot there. I think I could get a kind of a, a ramp up to it, maybe. I know you can drive up the rocks, but it's not, I think, conducive. I mean, well, I'm not saying that. I don't know whether or not the rocks will accept landscape and some of those things. I'll have to have a bit of a fiddle around, maybe off camera. See if I can get it to work. And then kind of go from there, I suppose. So, let's get this going. Yeah, so the test will be with that distribution system. I know the distribution system works, providing I set it on to distribute. Um, we'll put in our seed, we'll put in our manure, we'll put in our water. But I don't know the range. Oh, we've got our first pallet of butter. Yay. Let's unfold it, let's have a look. Let's have, let's have a look at a pallet of butter and see what it looks like. There we go. There's our unsalted butter. Excellent. So I'll need to set the rest, I guess, now onto distributing, and that shall go straight over to uh, the bakery. So let's go across to there. Boom, boom, boom. And then what we'll do is every time I need to empty the milk out, I'll put the milk here, take some over to the bakery. We'll be good to go. I've been considering getting another, another seed or a planter, something bigger. The only reason I went for this originally was because it did everything. It was, you know, it was that, that one that does all crop types. So I didn't have to have a separate seed or a separate planter. But I am considering now actually whether or not... I've got enough stuff stored everywhere. And I know with my methane, I've actually, that's a point, before I finish the episode I need to go over, I've loaded all my gold pallets onto a trailer and I need to sell them. I don't need to sell them, but I'm going to... You know what it's like when you've just got gold bars everywhere? You just don't know where to put them, you know? You've run out of room in your cupboards, you've run out of room under the stairs, you know. What do I do with all those gold bars? I'll sell them. We'll do that. <laughs> you know, first world problems of, of the wealthy, billionaire, rich and famous. What do I do with all this gold? Oh, dear. Like most of us might have a problem, like if you've been chopping wood for your wood burner or wood stove or whatever, and it's like, oh, where am I going to put all this wood I've chopped? It's been lovely to have that problem with gold, wasn't it? Anyway, I suppose to be fair, probably just Fort Knox, places like that. Anyway, it's got a gold reserve. Anyway, I'm waffling. Uh, let's get that going. I'm going to do a strip round, strip at the top. What I need to make sure I do before I walk away or before I roll is make sure this time that I don't have any gaps missed when it turns round so let's make sure I've got plenty plenty done at either end I was looking at the old uh, the John Deere it's the DB ones JHHC would I'm trying to think of their buy. Anyway, yeah, there's, they went, the latest one was, was it 120? It's massive. 
but I'm thinking more along the lines of something like that um, than the big old, you know, the ball go drills, that kind of thing. I don't want to go down that route. Um, that being said, my mega field, which we're going to be harvesting next month. Actually, yeah, we are going to be doing next month. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have some... Uh, Pretty big, I suppose. I did it on Stone Valley. Didn't even think about it. I mean, I just I, because a lot of the fields are big anyway. So there's a difference in here being because you're creating your own fields as you go. Your brain doesn't always go there straight away. You think, oh, yeah, it's all right. And because I've got loads of other jobs I'm doing as well, I'll, I'll just set off my seed, and set off my cultivator, set whatever I'm doing, and let it go up and down the field while I'm doing other things. So it doesn't really, you know, if I, I suppose if I was doing it all myself manually. You get to that point, you know what, I've got to go bigger because this is just taking too long. So, I guess it depends how you're tackling your farming, if you're doing it all manually, or, or you just want to save time anyway. Even if you're hiring a worker, you think, actually, I just want them to get on with it quicker, so we'll get a bigger seed or planter. I don't know. Whatever may float your boat. I'm hoping one strip will be enough for it to turn around. Should be. Let's move over a little bit. Right, I did a strop, a strop, I did a strop that way. So, what I need to do now is hop out, let that carry on. Let that, that carry on. Let our work carry on. I need to grab the... Where's my water tanker? Oh, it's full of digestate. I was going to sell some at Missy B, weren't I? I took it over there and thought at the end of the episode I'll show that and I didn't do it. So we'll go over there, we'll sell the digestate we've got. Because like I said, we've got so much fertiliser now, I don't have to worry about making fertiliser with it. So the digestate we can now sell as well. I can let it pile up, I can use it as fertiliser, I can do whatever I want with it now. But as soon as I've got solid fertiliser made, I might as well use that. I knew it was somewhere. <laughs> Just wasn't sure where. Right, start it up. Uh, let's. Oh, there we go. We can just haven't got to open the cover, have I? What we got? 126,670 litres. Should do right out of this. I don't know what, I don't know what um, the, the price is here at the uh, slurry yard, but we'll take what we can get. It's going up fairly rapidly, actually, so I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, so it's things like this. When my money's going up like this. Oh, you know what? I don't even know why. I'd... I've got that in my head. I've got that buffer of, of a million. So I need to keep that buffer of a million litres. No, I don't. Should we get it? 470 grand. Rockins. Just standard. Or do I look for a modded one? I'll have a look. I, w I will. I'm going to get a bigger tree harvester. I think I'll go for a... Um... We'll go for a modded one, probably. This probably needs a really good clean, actually. 164 grand. We'll take that. Because as it was, that digestive... Look like around there. Oh, squeaked past. Um, yeah, I mean, that digestate would have been quartered for our fertiliser, which we have been doing for months now. So... Another income stream, should we require... I know I did sell a load a while back, because I did that thing of, if I sell the digestate and then buy fertiliser, which I could do. But as it turned out, I just felt a little bit more comfortable, having said that I did with the pig food, but I wanted to produce our own. I wanted to try out some of the new systems, so that was kind of the point behind it. I'm going to fill this up with water then. We'll give it a jet wash first, because obviously it's had digestate in it, and we're going to put water in it. So, you know, we need to clean it out. Um, I need to sort out the two greenhouses down this end and put strawberries going in those. Then we'll go over and we'll put the other ones in. Um, a couple of crop types I have got on the go. Oh, actually, I actually have one of them. I have one of them I haven't put any more in the ground, but I'm going to grow some more. I'm going to do corn and I'm going to do sugar beet. I'm going to set them both to distributing. That way, anywhere that takes corn, and I've got a few places, haven't I? I should get some. 
and the sugar beet should go to the biogas plant. I haven't got a, sh a sugar mill at the moment, so it should all go there, I think. Let's get that clean. But the corn will go between the ethanol plant. It will go to my grain mill extended because that takes corn. And where else takes corn? Oh, the food processing factory takes corn, where I was supposed to take the corn when I took it to the ethanol plant. So it should split it between that. That's why I'm considering, do I do 10 greenhouses like I've done with the potatoes for corn and I can produce 100,000 litres a month? Or is that too much? But then split between three facilities and then just do five of sugar beet maybe. Hmm. It's a big decision. Right, let's open the cover. I fill that up. I've got a little water point just here. We'll get that filling. Well, that's filling. Let's grab a tractor and a trailer, and we'll grab some manure. And then we'll uh, fill up all the things we need to. I'm definitely going to process some more manure because I think I'm going to run out. I was wondering actually whether it's worth putting in a distribution hub over here, but because I've already put all the things I need into most of them already, I think, I don't, I think it'd be a, it wouldn't work necessarily because I've already filled load up. So I'll leave that, I think. So I'm hoping to get it all in and done by one o'clock. That way the first lot of stuff can move over if I can get it done quick enough. So, manure, I don't know how much I've got in here either. Let's start loading. Not far enough over, but that's all right. 240, is that going enough for all of them? Yeah, probably. This has got a one to three production ratio. So if I bring 100,000 litres of straw over from one of the other silos, I can get another 300,000 litres. It'll take a little while to process, but we can get that going. No problem at all. Next job, well, that's doing that. Actually, that's not going to take too long, is it? Troubles, I think each of them takes 10,000 litres. Again, I don't think... 20,000 litres. I don't need to do that much. I'll show you what I mean. If we come over to these greenhouses, we'll have a look at the productions. Because I, I, I know I put these water points in, which I'm not sure if I needed to or not. But if we come out here... The water... Ignore what the water says. It says 55,000 litres because I put the extra containers in. But seeds, it takes 10,000 litres, and manure, 20,000 litres. Now, those have been running for months with all different processes. I've had potatoes going, I've had sunflower going, I'm now on to tomatoes. Um, oh, whatever I've got running on this one, anyway, regardless of what I've got running. And it's barely used anything, so I don't need to put that much in. So I think I'll put 10,000 litres of manure in. And 5,000 litres, oh, not even 5,000, maybe 3,000 litres of seed. I can always top up if I need to. That way I'm not using too much product. Because realistically, each one of those has now got 10,000 litres of seed in it, as have all the ones over there. And it's barely using any. You may, I'm looking at probably 200,000 litres of seed, which realistically, I say I could have used elsewhere. I've still got... I've got plenty. We're not going to run out anytime soon. And with my crops growing and stuff I'm, going to, I'm doing, I can always produce more if I need to. I'm going to do another oat field at some point. Or again, I could go and buy some. You know, I've got the money. It's not like I can't afford to. But like I said, I want to try and be more self-sufficient if I can. So this, I'm going to put 10,000 litres in. Or try to anyway. There you go, that'll do. I've still got that pile over there, actually, I could do with clearing up, I suppose. Do the same for this one. I'll do the same for the olive trees. I haven't checked, actually, to see how much the olive trees are using, but... Come on, that'll do.
Um, okay. Yeah, I started this side. I'm thinking, why is he going back over the field again? Of course he's not. I started this side, didn't I? Perfect. Let me get the water in. I just thought we had a lot more sunflower over in the food production facility than we did, or did olives, so it kind of made more sense to get more of this. I suppose we are reliant on the olive oil plant, aren't we? Oops, put more than that. That's not the end of the world. So this will now go over to... Well, I haven't put them in yet, but when we put them in, over to the other side. And 10,000 is... It? Yeah, we should be all right. Fram and you're there. Uh, right, now water. That should be full by now. Get that in. And then... Actually, what we'll do, a whiz over, we'll sell, this, sell the gold. Because my pickup back, I could probably do with that trailer, couldn't I? Or the back, you know, it's a trailer. That took a while to get going. Okay. It's got to be done, surely. I don't want him overlapping and going into the field by mistake. Why is he backing all the way up? Hold on just a second. I'm over at my gold production. I have one more pallet to put on. And because I didn't do it in the morning, I, I normally do my monthly run of gold um, first thing in the morning. I kind of left it and it all piled up. Um, like I said, I've got quite a bit. <laughs> Not that's a bad thing. Be a nice bit of money towards our new tree harvester. Um, oh yeah, that was a point actually. I wanted to thank you. Uh, I, was, I mentioned Hydra. Um, loads of people in my Discord have been going. They've been trying to solve the problem. Um, uh, thank you, Twelve Pointer. Twelve Pointer put in some information regarding it. Uh, who was the other person that did? I was only on it a minute ago and I've lost the thread. I'm always doing that. Um, of people that had, uh, had suggested things for me to try. I will find it momentarily. Right. That's a fair bit there, actually. Do that. Do that. Are we moving? We were moving. Hmm. Let's hop in there. Start it up. Okay, we're good to go. It was Bright Farmer was the other person. I know lots of other people have commented and stuff and just here. You know, I had a couple of messages ping up on my Discord and Goggle Pop's been uh, highlighting them and, and pinging them for me. <laughs> but just everyone's trying to help and it's brilliant. Like I say, I don't know why I didn't think of trying the Rotner. I just did the first two because they were the in, first in line. And then once both those didn't work, I thought, OK, I'm going to have to look at a modded one because quite clearly the standard in-game ones won't work. And that wasn't the case. But I might look for a modded Rotner or... I know there's a lot of people are saying that the Pons Scorpion King, not the Cobra, the modded Scorpion King, which I think is HR Forced, Unterfall Zuigabel, uh, is a good, safe bet. We'll see. This normally does me quite well with the gold. I've got a lot more pallets on. But that said, bearing in mind it's gone lunchtime tomorrow into uh, January, I won't have as much gold because this is half a day's worth on top of what I would normally have as well. So Between the digestate and the gold, a result. So what I'm going to do, take the trailer back to where I normally have it stored. I'll cut across here and then we'll go and grab seed in the back of this 
So I'll have my water, my manure and my seed and let's get cracker lacking, shall we? Okay, let's move through, grab the seed we need. I'm going to fill this up. I have got the extension on this, so it's uh, 108,000 meters, I think. I've still got the sugar beet there, I see. I forgot all about that. Seed. Okay. And if I stick 5,000 litres in each, yeah, we should be alright. We'll still leave me with plenty and get all these going. I need to keep an eye on the sheep and stuff because it's that thing that kind of fire and forget. I, I fill up their feed and just let them get on with it and they're, they're quite happy. Um, but they'll get close to the point of reproducing again. I don't want to get to a point where the pens are full, they reproduce and there's nowhere for them to go. That's the other thing I was thinking of this field here, not putting a crop in this again. Oh, you know what? I'm going to bite the bullet on something else as well. Why not? Um, let's go with... I know there's only a small sliver there, but if I'm going to take that out of circulation for crop... I'm going to need another crop field. I'm not going to need another crop field, but I'm... I want one. I want another crop field. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy that one there. And we'll do either side of the road. So we could split it. Should we do that? Let's do it. Yeah. So what I can do is... Because I'm kind of running out of space. I thought I had loads of room and then I put loads of stuff in. <laughs> I just keep expanding the farm. What I can do is when the sheep reach the next um, reproduction state, I can put another sheep pen next to them. So I can have maybe like four in here, potentially. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I might I leave half of this field, potentially. I don't know what I would put in it, but we'll see. So let's get the seed into these two. This is going to be a little bit... It's going to be about 5,000 litres. It's not going to be... It's not going to be uh, perfect. But we'll certainly do our best. I know I say it every single episode, but we've come such a long way. one with the grain door really. Right, that's that done. Got those switched on. Ever expanding. So we want strawberries, seed and manure. Go. And then we'll go to our strawberries and set those to distributing. So those should go straight over to the bakery. I wasn't far off, look, 10,006, 4,007. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely golden. Uh, and then we'll do the same with this one. And then we'll get the olive trees both set off and running because they're both full. Then move everything over to our other facility. Strawberry seed and manure. Distributing. Fantastic. Right. That's those done. So I'll take everything over. Let's go to these here. So we're about there. Uh, olive seed and manure. Olives. Oh, I haven't put the seed in yet. Boy. <laughs> I came over with this with the seed in it and then didn't actually put the seed in. Right, so... We'll go into the distribution system. If you didn't watch the mod review, that, then you'll get to see it on here.
Do, 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 do. There we go. Distributing. There we go. Distributing. Excellent. Let's go do this. Okay, we're here and we're good to go. So I did put a row of trees in there um, so that from the road it would, so as over time, would hide the greenhouses. But I don't want to hide them. Um, I'm going to put a load more in here. <laughs> I know I used this field for crops, then I put grass in it. Um, so buying that new field that we have just bought will also, if I want to put grass in that one up there, maybe either side of the road I could have crops one side and another strip of grass the other. Uh, if we go back to the map, we'll see farm dog is driving me bonkers. Some at the door. Um, because I've got grass here, if we go yeah, grass there, grass there and grass there. If I did maybe that side as crop, because that's the larger side, and that will give me a little bit more than I've got there. So I'll replace that. And then that side, I'll just continue that all up as grass on that side of the road. And that will recover what's been say, lost but from there. Does that make sense? It kind of does, doesn't it? Um, so the question is, well, how many do I put in? Do I go for five and five? Ten and ten is too many, isn't it? I think. I don't know what to do for the best here. Um... If I start with five and five, if I go a month or a couple of months, think actually I should have put some more in. I can always, I've got plenty of room. I can always put more in. Then all I can do, what I can then do is switch over production from one row. Yeah, I could do, couldn't I? Shall we do that? We need somewhere for the distribution thing to go. Maybe we'll put that up here. I've got enough room. Yeah, right. So I'm going to have to increase my amount of spotlights I'm using as well. Mind you, it's fair, I need to do that with potatoes. These are all going to be set on distributing. So, under greenhouses, open gardens. Like I said before, they're only two grand each, so not a problem. These can back up as close as they want to to here because it's a different row. I can never quite get these straight. That's not saying I feel straight, of course. That'll do. So, let's go with right up to the edge, shall we? One. Two, three, four. <gasps> no. I didn't know there was a maximum, but I've reached it, which is a problem because. I now can't put any more production chains in. I still haven't got a sugar mill. I've got my dairy in. I mean, to be fair, I've got a lot of stuff on this map, but let's be honest, we have got a lot of stuff. Um, oh, man. What could I... I'm going to have to be... I'm going to have to sacrifice some greenhousery. I think maybe then... If I switch two of these over from potatoes, when I get the next full pallet on these, I'll switch the two rear ones over. At the moment, I'm getting 100,000 litres of potatoes a day, a month. Um, two of those. Oh, no. What have I done? Problem is that doesn't leave me a lot any any scope moving forward either. Um, I'm just trying to decide. I've got this facility here, which at the moment I'm only making premium potatoes, which is giving me some pig food as well. But I'm making pig food when I put potatoes through here, so I could lose that building. I never thought this would be a problem. Oh. Maximum number of productions reached. <laughs> okay, what I'll do then, not as much as I was hoping to do, I will switch two of these over. One of them I will do as, sorry, one of them 
I'll do as corn. One of them I'll do as... It doesn't really matter how I go about doing it. Uh, one corn. One sugar beet. And then two of each of these. So I'll have three of each. I may need to take one of those. Just trying to think. Can I cut down my potatoes here to just six maybe? I've placed them now. I'll think of something. Which means I won't even be able to place this either, will I? Um, it's under production. Out on the end, probably. No, where is it? The open air garden mod, yeah, I can't even place that. I've been sailing too close to the wind, right. Okay, I'll just have to put the seed in some separately then, rather than have a distribution centre with that. Ooh. Actually, I'll tell you what I could do. I could take out my um, fertiliser production building because I've got enough fertiliser now. That should keep me going indefinitely. I don't, I've lost track. I was so busy talking. I've lost track of seeds. 8,731. Oh, no, I only wanted to put 5,000 in, didn't I? Went way over on that one. Really scuppered my plans. One or two now is check then. <laughs> I can't believe it. How close are these to a full pallet? 1658, not far off. So when I get full pallet potatoes, I will switch off potato production on these and switch these over. We'll get these going on the new crop types. I wanted to shelf the new crop types. I think I've just got too many other things going. Maybe what I should have done, maybe what I need, still need to do. I've, I've put all that stuff in there. I've put all the seed and everything in as well, haven't I? So if I took a couple of greenhouses out over the other side and put strawberries on two of the others, that's such a waste of seed and manure I've put in. We'll think of something. I'm just thinking as well, moving forward, any new productions that come out that I think, oh, I want to try those, I'm not going to be able to. The open gardens are just too good. Just put too many in. I'm now toying with just taking these out, you know. And just moving all the production around to other things. Which is really frustrating. How close am I to a pallet of pig food on this one? Because I'm quite a way off. I might just we'll get rid of this first. 839. So we've got a few things that need to tick over. When that hits a thousand and I get a full pallet of pig food there, I'll move that off. Um, although that has got 30,000 litres of potatoes in it which I can't take out, but at the end of the day, these are producing enough, I won't have to worry about that, and I think I've still got 200,000 litres sitting here, haven't I? Yeah, okay, right, we'll do that. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm 
I'll go back over to the other farm and have a little cry and then I will work out <laughs> there's anything I can remove I might the lime crusher there oh no because that's actually quite good it's very productive I'll give it some thought Okay, so I'm not going to put in the distribution point. I have, over at the main farm, taken out one of the olive trees I just put in, and I've taken out two of the beehives. Now, I don't know, I'm assuming the beehives, because they produce in pallets, they, they're a production. So, I'm assuming. I've taken out two of those, because I've got plenty of honey over at the food production um, facility. So, honey, we're okay. I don't need any more beehives. I did put two more into up production, but you know what? I've taken two of those out. So... That's three productions I've kind of gained myself back. I am still toying with taking out those two green open gardens I put in over at the other farm for strawberries and then reducing the amount of tomatoes and lettuce I'm doing because again the food production we've got a fair bit over there they're still being processed and then put the two end ones onto strawberries. I know I've just put seed and stuff in them and I'm going to have to take a hit on that. I need to give myself potential moving forward for anything else I want to put in. I definitely need a sugar mill because I don't have one and we're going to have all that sugar cane that's going to need to be processed so we're going to need a sugar mill. Um, I do also have the option, the lime debris crusher over there I can take out because we do have one on the map and I have got, as I already said in the previous episode, well over a million litres of lime sap. So rather than selling a load, I can keep that, and that I can keep chugging away at um, as I kind of move forward. So I think that's what we're going to do. So just to bring the manure over and get the manure in, um, I might see you in a little while. I'm just trying to think. I just want to get those two pallets of potatoes out the way over there, and I can get all these running on what I want them to running on. I'm now also thinking whether or not to have, of the six, so the four here and the two there, to have four running corn and two running sugar, sugar beet, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> it's a major problem. It's a major problem I've never encountered before. And in all honesty, I didn't think I would. It, it, it uh, kind of surprised me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So I need to put a bit of uh, landscaping in. I'll put a track in up to there. Hmm. So I'll see you in a minute. I'll get the manure over. We'll get that put in. Let's do all this water now. <laughs> I suppose I could just sell it, but just think if there's anything else I could top up with water. Oh, there is actually. You know what? Let's head down to Maple Cure Farm. I'll just top up, and not they're going to require hardly any water at all, probably a thousand litres each or something. I'll top up my uh, maple syrup production. Did I show you the track in the last episode? I, I did finally put a track in. We've got that in now as well. So we're not just driving across open fields. So, once we've got all this done and we've got those up and running, I think that's where I'm going to end it. It's Friday and I did say I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get any videos up. Um, I've got a lot I've got to get done today. Next episode, well, I'm not sure when that's going to be, will be probably into January and we're going to have a load of harvesting to do. I'm probably going to buy the new... We'll get, have a look at off screen and I'll try and sort out what I'm going to do about a new tree harvester. Um, we'll look at doing that. Well, yeah, we're going to have a load of gear we need to be leasing and sorting out. Why did I just drive past those? I'm not going to the pigs. I drove past because I had every intention of reversing into these points here. There we go. Oh, it took a bit more than I thought it would. Fair enough. So I'm looking at thinning things down. I didn't. I didn't want to thin stuff down. I wanted to. I 
now I've got all these dormant productions. I'm thinking I used them and I did the production and I can run them whenever I want, but what do I do? Hmm. At some point, and I normally talk about this at some point in a Let's Play, at some point we're going to have to move on to a new Let's Play. I might bounce back to Fruiting for a little bit, I don't know. Um, but I do want to get this next set of harvesting done. I definitely want to get the, the poplars done over here, the sugarcane done, the massive sorghum field, all of that stuff I want to get sorted at least. At the very least I want to get that done. I want to get some more stuff, the soybean here, I want to get the, some of that through the ethanol plant, I want to produce my own biodiesel. So, yeah, well, I've got a load more I want to do. I'm not saying we're going to be ending the Let's Play anytime soon. A little bit of time has passed. Um, I'm still shell-shocked. <laughs> Is that thing of oh, all this stuff I've built up, I don't want to lose anything, but I've got a choice. I've got to lose something somewhere. Um, the new pallets of potatoes have spawned at the potato points. So, so what I'll have to do now, I've actually turned the two off at the back. So they're ready to go to switch over to something new. I'll put the manure in these and these will be ready to go as well. So... Put a bit in each and we should be good. A bit more than I intended. But we're okay. So let's get these going. I, I mean I've, I've regained myself at least three production points. And I suppose that's the thing when you think about it. each one of these open gardens is a production chain, a production point. Um, you compare one of those to a factory or you know whatever it might be doing the grain mill so i guess yeah because i put so many of those in i, I know i you know, not rocket science but it's just um i've gained myself three back i could potentially get five back if i do those two strawberry ones take those back out and, and readdress my strawberries and i can then get another one back if i do the lime debris crusher so i'll have six back and that's plenty i i think we'll be okay with that so we want to go down now and this is all changed if you, again if you haven't seen these the update on these if you didn't watch my mod review um uh, the standard ones will do tomatoes lettuce strawberries these ones did potatoes and sunflower what's been added is sugar beet soybean corn and cotton so we can do tons of stuff in these so these front ones i'm going to be putting as corn but corn with manure corn seed and manure i'm going to be setting those to distributing so what I'm just going to be curious to see is where it distributes to and how much. Got corn going in there. I think I'm going to go four and two. I think. It's probably the best way of doing it, I think. Um, corn seed manure. Corn to distributing. And these will tide me over until my cornfield's ready to harvest as well. It'll give me a little bit of product in it, anything that requires corn. Right, that's those done. And then these two I'm going to put on sugar beet. Now at the moment, these should distribute to the biogas plant. Because I haven't got anything else that requires sugar beet, have I at the moment? I don't think pretty sure so we want sugar beet seed manure sugar beet distributing and then this one over here as well right they're growing Potatoes, I need to move out of the way. We'll get those gone and we'll get those into storage. I need to run some more stuff through that. 
Um, and I guess there's no reason at all why I couldn't then rebalance this if I get to a point where I think I've got a load of potatoes in there, um, which I've, I've still got to process through. At 20,000 litres a time, which is what this will run, I've got 10 runs. Well, this, that's full at the moment, but I've got enough in there for 10 full runs of this machinery. So realistically, yeah, I guess I could switch some of these over from potatoes to other crop types as well. Um, yeah, like I say, not quite how I thought this was going to go, in all honesty. But there we go. That's where I'm going to end it. <laughs> I'm going to go for a lie down. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you are and if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.